Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm starting off in this little corner. I actually got this wicker and metal basket from Goodwill a while back. It was like $2.99. I love this little basket though. It, it comes in handy. And this is where hubby keeps kind of just um, his work stuff like in this little what is that um pot like a plant potter the white one he keeps like a couple of tools that he has like in his pockets and like pens and things like that so when he comes home he just like dumps everything pretty much right here his wallet his keys and all that stuff so i'm just going through this and throwing out things that don't well not throwing out but putting things back where they need to be i did throw a couple of things out that we didn't need and yeah just getting this area just nice and neat and cleaned and clutter free so I hope you are doing well. We are doing the daggone thing in today's video. We're going to be getting the kitchen nice and cleaned and wiped down. The floors mopped. The floors mopped in the bedrooms. Get the bedrooms reset and just doing the daggone thing. So I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Like I said, I hope you're doing well. The week is almost up. The weekend's almost here. So that's always a good look, right? Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Treat me like you should. <laughs> couple of days oh man so hubby and I had dentist appointments back to back and y'all oh my goodness I have to get a crown um I swear if it's not one thing it's another it's just geez I have on my back molar so 
I, I got my back, what is it, bottom right molar pulled um, a while back. And I actually had a root canal done and that tooth. They tried to save it. Um, there was a crack in it and it didn't work. So the um, specialist that our dentist sent us to was like, just pull it because it's pointless for me to do another. Like, I don't want you spending a bunch of money on another root canal because it's, you know, there's, there's no guarantee that it's going to hold up. So got that tooth pulled. Now the tooth that's next to it, my other like big molar, um, I've gotten like, it has a really, really big cavity in it. So I've gotten that filled like several years back and it's kind of been bothering me. Um, with, it's been like sensitive to like, you know, um, drinks and, um, like hot, hot drinks, cold drinks and things like that. So she did like the test on it and everything. And basically she was like, you know, and I thought I was going to have to get a root canal to be honest, because like the hole honestly is so big that, um, I thought initially that I was going to have to get a root canal. So I was just like, oh my goodness, y'all, those are so, ex everything is so expensive. Like I just, I do not, I, I hate our, um, our insurance system, like healthcare in America, I just think it's such a ripoff. Like you pay all this money for this stuff and you still have to come out of pocket for so much, you know, and it's just, it's, it's awful. And so anyways, um, so yeah, so she said the best bet is for us to do a crown. And so I'm just like, oh my goodness. And then hubby actually has a tooth that has been sensitive as well. So we both got x-rays and everything, and she's actually going to send hubby's x-rays off to that, um, our, like the root canal specialist and see what he says. She said that it could be like a crack or something that she's not seeing, um, or something like that. So anyways, we got that done, got our six month checkup and everything done. And then we had a son had a medical appointment. So we went to that. And then we also had an appointment to drop off son's paperwork for his passport. We did that. And then I got my car washed. I've been wanting to do that because it has been like the salt and everything on the road. It's been so dirty and I wanted to do it at home to be honest, but it's, and it's kind of been like forties, fifties, but it definitely freezes like, you know, after six o'clock down to like 32 below that at the night during the night and so I didn't want like the pipes to freeze so we took it to a car wash got it nice and washed and then I also got an oil change so just like you know getting things done getting a bunch of errands done but yeah so it's just been like a couple of um busy last couple of days and y'all oh my goodness I'm, I'm gonna give you guys an update with Allstate I am so done dealing with these people like for real for real but let's go ahead and get this kitchen nice and wiped down yeah, 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 yeah. 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 bad little flex she wanna know me i stay low key all gas no breaks baby let them hoes sleep body on to make your girl od i get in my way never out of my lane Feel like you the one in the more one So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep Is you riding on a team? Got what you need Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely I got something for you when we get home If you let me put it down When I hit the town You should lie on me Keep your minds on me On try, baby, I think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all So 
let's get into this. <laughs> Just to give, if you're new here, hey, a quick rundown. We're in the process of getting our roof replaced. We have gotten two inspections done and they have both been denied. So this last one that we had, we had another adjuster come out and take all of his pictures and everything of our roof. And I've been waiting to hear back. I finally heard back. I actually got an email. We got a new claims person. So this is the third claims person that we've had since we have filed this back in November. And um, so she finally called me and she said that they found, so first she said that she was on a recorded line and everything. So I was like, okay, that's good. And she said that they found hail damage on the gutters and that they found speckle hill damage on the fence. This is what she told me on the phone, okay? Um, but the the roof is not damaged. She said that it is granular loss. So the shingles have granular loss and that is not covered under our policy. So first thing is we have, I've been checking our account like every day and I have not seen any of the photos from the second inspection. The first one I have, and I actually downloaded those because after I talked to this lady, I had a feeling that she was going to go in and delete them. So after she told me this, I said, okay, I said, well, um, can I speak to a manager? What is the next step um, in the process? And I already knew this because I already talked to our, our um, roofing contractor and, um, she said, well, I can let my manager know that you'd like to speak with her. And I said, okay. I said, well, what's the next step? I'd like to go ahead and proceed this, uh, proceed the next step because um, I'd like to dispute these findings, your findings. And I said, do we have to get another inspection? We don't do, we don't do um, a third inspection. I said, okay. So they only do two. Um, and so she said that uh, they, we can request for an engineer to come out, which I, like I said, I knew that that was going to be the next step. I said, yeah, I said, I would like to go ahead and start that process. And, um, and she was like, okay, well, I can let my manager know that you'd like to speak with her. I said, okay, can I please have her contact information, wrote all that information down. And so she sent me an email and this is what she sent me. I'm going to show you guys. Before I do that, she also did tell me on the phone that she, um, that what they were going to do is send us a check. And I know this is like super taboo. People don't like to talk about finances and money and things, but for the purpose of this, y'all, I'm just I like, I like to keep it real. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to tell you guys. So we have a $1,500 deductible and we have a one-time like, um, free thing where like they take $500 off your first claim. So we have to come out of pocket a thousand dollars. So this is what she said. She would, she's going to give us, send us a check for $1,700, $1,700 and some change to fix the gutters and to have the, that one side of the fence where there's hail damage stained and, um, washed and restained. So after us, but we would still have to pay the thousand dollars. So basically you're going to give us $700 and some change. And you think that's going to cover the gutters. Also the, um, the roof vents, she said that there was hail damage on the roof vents. So to cover the roof vents and the gutters and to, um, clean and restain, restain one side of the fence. She th they think that $700 is going to cover that. Okay. Second thing, you are admitting that there is hail damage on the roof vents, on the gutters and on the side of the fence. So there's hail damage on those, but there's not hail damage on the roof. Makes absolutely zero sense. But here's the email. So it says, based on the inspection photos, there was no storm related damage present on the shingles of the roof. There was only normal wear, granular loss and blistering present, all of which are not covered under your policy. There is no hill impact showing to any of your ridge shingles as well. There was small hail damage found to a few of your roof vents, gutters and downspouts. I have included these items on the estimate for replacement on the right run of your fence, there was very light spatter marks found. Based on this, I have written to lightly clean and restain the affected area. Please be aware that you owe thousand dollar deductible towards the repairs. Normally have and have a deductible fifteen hundred, but a deduction reduction amount of five hundred lowers this to a loss. A payment of seven eighty one fifty two is owed to you at this time. 
So this is the email I sent her back. Good afternoon. Thank you for your email. As discussed in our phone call, we would like to dispute these findings. Based on the inspection photos and the additional photos sent by our roofing contractor, we believe the damage on our roof is indicative of hail damage. We would like to pursue the next step and request an engineer inspection as discussed. Thank you for providing your supervisor's information. I will be awaiting her call. So I am... Y'all, I can't even tell you, I am so frustrated. I am, and I'm going to show you guys some photos. So, and this is another thing that I thought that was super weird. I have all the inspection photos from the, from the first inspection. It's in our Allstate account. Like I said, I've been checking it. Haven't received any photos from the second inspection. I asked her about that. I said, um, is there a reason why I'm not seeing, you know, the photos haven't been uploaded to our account? Like I haven't seen any of the photos from the second inspection. And she said, oh, you shouldn't have even been able to see the first ones. Like customers aren't allowed to see the photos of the inspection. And I'm like, is that actually true? Like, okay, so if I'm not allowed to see it, why are they there? And so that's the reason why I downloaded them as well. And there's 83 photos from the first inspection. Like I said, haven't been able to see the, sec to see the second one. So I don't know what's going on with that. That's super fishy. But I did some research myself and I also talked to our roofing contractor. So that is going to be the next step is to get an engineer, a structural engineer to do a full evaluation of the roof and they will determine whether or not the roof is actually damaged and whether or not Allstate will have to come out of pocket to pay for the roof. And I'm pretty sure that Allstate actually has to pay for that. I'm not sure that's where um, it's kind of like fishy. And I talked to our roofing contractor. He has not they don't, he hasn't actually gone through like this process, like this far in the process, but he does know, you know, um, one of his, um, coworkers and he's going to talk to his manager and everything and get back to us. He's been like really, really helpful in this whole process. But the next step, if they do, she's supposed to contact the manager, supposed to contact me by five o'clock today. So I'm going to see what she says. I am going to be filing a complaint with the state insurance department. And then if that all fails, the next step, unfortunately, is going to have to be to go um, and to hire an attorney like and I don't even know what that's going to look like y'all like that is you guys know like hiring an attorney all that that's a lot of money I'm just so frustrated and I don't mean to like dump or anything you know on you guys but it's just like this is what's going on you know and I've been giving you guys updates of what's been happening and it's just absolutely absolutely ridiculous but I'm going to show y'all a couple of photos here of the 83 photos this is only a couple of the damage so these first couple of ones, you can see the black is where the hail came down and it did pretty much deteriorated the shingles. There were several pictures of this, but this is just a couple of them. And they mark the roof, each one that they do, they mark it to show how many spots are in like, you know, X amount of square footage. And this next one here, this, it says time six on the notes. It says six dents of potential hail damage. So on this just uh, vent right here, there are six dents. And then this right here is just an example of the huge like square footage areas. You can see, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like marks on each, every, each and every, um, like hail damage mark that was in that certain amount of square footage. And they did that all throughout the roof. So it's just, y'all, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. I just insurance just everywhere, you know, home insurance, medical insurance, whatever. It's just, it's crazy to me how you got to fight these people so hard to get something replaced in your house or your body or whatever it is like, but if you don't have the insurance, then you're absolutely screwed. You know, God forbid something happened. So anyway, that's the update. I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know what, what, um, what comes of this, but it's just, I just been so frustrated and I, I've been trying to handle this with grace y'all because you know, you get more bees with honey. Like I was talking to this lady, you know, in a nice calm tone and wasn't trying to holler or scream or anything, you know, nothing good comes of that. And so I've just been trying to handle it with grace and just trying to think positive and trying to not let it ruin my mood or anything like that. But anyways, that's the update. So thanks for listening. Let's get back to cleaning.
The last night was when all of that stuff happened. So I got myself a good workout in. I took a nice long hot bath, y'all. I just was like, ugh, woo-saw, okay? We're gonna go to bed feeling good and trying not to overthink and just, you know, just do, just woo-saw, okay? Just woo-saw. So that's what I did. It is the next morning and I wanted to get up. I was like, let's go ahead and make the bed. Making the bed just always makes me feel really good. So I did that and then we're going to get the dressers and everything nice and wiped down and just disinfected. We're gonna get the office cleaned. I went through, I just had a bunch of like paperwork and everything all um, like kind of scattered, not scattered, but just, you know, on the desk, I was getting all the paperwork for son's passport together and then then um, for what else was it taxes we get you know stuff for taxes and things that are coming up and I just organized all that stuff and just got everything nice and reset 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 <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that I got blood on my hands right now and I'm stumbling through the dark and the dawn I have found new ways but no I can't be the one that you need wiping this down and someone was like, I want to help. I want to help. I was like, all right, come and help. He was, we have this, that blue bean bag that you'll see here in a second. We actually used to have this down in the living room, but it just, it's nice and comfortable and everything. And it's fun. Like he has a lot of fun on it, but it takes up a lot of space. I actually thought about getting rid of it, but I was like, nah, let's just, let me just throw it up in the office, you know? So that's why we have it up here. But he's like, look, mom, he's like, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm like, you're a trip kid. Oh, it was funny. But this, um, that plant stand and, um, plant, what am I thinking of? Um, 
plant holder, the little bronze thing, I actually got that at Goodwill for like five bucks, something like that. And I do want to put a plant back in here, but every time, so I've had two plants in here and it seems like every time I put a plant in here, it dies. And I don't understand why, because this window here does produce quite a bit of light. So I think I might get like, maybe like a pothos or something like something that's, you know, low light that will um, that will be okay up here, you know, and hopefully not die. But I just, I really like, y'all know I love plants and it just brings just a nice, beautiful vibe to any room. And so I just think a nice cute plant in that corner would be really nice to look at. So yeah, we are doing the daggone thing. We're getting the office nice and mopped. I'm also going to be mopping the bedroom as well. And this little, what is it called? The, um, this, plastic piece here. I know this goes over a rug. I do eventually want to get a rug in here. I had one in here, but it was, it was, it needed to go. So I actually ended up throwing that one away, but eventually I do want to get a rug in here and potentially a new desk. Like this desk I got on clearance from Ikea. I just refinished the top with some Dollar Tree peel and stick uh, tiles. And then I went over it with some polyurethane and it, it's, it's holding up well. I spray painted the legs black, but I eventually would like to get like, just like a nice, beautiful, you know, modern looking desk in here and a new desk chair for sure. Like I've had this desk chair for God only knows how long it actually used to be my brother's, but um, yeah. So I eventually want to get, you know, things upgraded and stuff like that, but all in due time, you know, it's, um, I'm not in a rush to do those things. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get the bedroom nice and mopped as well. And then we're also going to mop son's room also. So right here, I was just showing y'all how dusty the floor was. It was pretty dusty here. And then on the alongside like the other wall where his closet and door was. So I just wanted to get this nice and mopped up and, you know, clean and disinfected and everything. I, I did use some new, um, y'all, I can't talk. <laughs> I used some new mop water. I did go downstairs and, you know, refill this up with some hot soapy water. And then, of course, I threw in some pine saw, but I didn't show that because I was just going up and down, up and down the stairs, you know, getting your cleaning stuff ready and then bringing it upstairs and taking it back downstairs and so forth. So got some nice clean mop water and we are just getting this nice and mopped up. She's a roller coaster. Oh, she's so sick. I'm burning. 
what can I do? You're so loving and gentle to the core What can I do when you fill me with happiness and much more? What can I do? You're so stunning, I just can't look away What can I do? I should know by now you make my day Never more will dreams expire and picked up and just reset this always makes me feel really good thank you all so much for being here thank you for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you soon bye